Golden Sun The Lost Age is 2002's role-playing adventure game for the Game Boy Advance. Developed by Camelot Software Planning and published by Nintendo, it is the sequel to 2001's Golden Sun, a game that I actually played on this channel in 2003. So it's with great pleasure, great excitement, great anticipation that I say to you hi! My name is LP, I play Nintendo games and I talk a lot, and for the greater part of the next month, uh, the subject of both of those is going to be this game. Ages ago, or so the stories tell, the power of alchemy ruled over the world of Weyard. Alchemy wrought the base elements of humanity into thriving civilizations like lead into gold. But in time, man's dreams gave birth to untold strife, dreams of endless riches, of eternal life, of dominion over all that lived, dreams of conquest and of war. These dreams would have torn the world apart if not for a few brave and wise men who sealed away the power of alchemy deep in Mount Aleph's soul sanctum. Prologue from Book One. I see. So, so that's a, that's a recap. Now, I have played this game before, right? I played it on release. It's one of my most favorite games of all time, but I have not played it since the first time I played it. <laughs> I played it when I got it. I was 10 years old, and then I just never picked it up again. So I, I am, we'll, we'll call it 10% familiar, perhaps, with what I'm about to experience here. The town of Vale guarded the secret for many years until Isaac and Jenna, whose parents died in a storm three years before, disturbed the Sanctum. Saturos and Minardi of the Mars clan followed them into the Sanctum. With them traveled Jenna's brother, Felix. Uh, he was thought lost in that same tragic storm. Saturos and Minardi stole the elemental stars, the keys to breaking the seal on the power of alchemy, and kidnapped Jenna, as well as the scholar Craden. If these four jewels were used to fire the elemental lighthouses, the seal on alchemy would be broken. Isaac and Garrett set out to stop Saturos, rescue their friends, and return the elemental stars to their home in Soul Sanctum. They banded together with a young wind adept named Ivan and pursued Saturos and Minardi to Emil, a winter-locked town near the Mercury Lighthouse. There, they met the guardian of the lighthouse, a water adept named Mia. With her, they pursued Saturos to the airy high atop Mercury Lighthouse. This is a full friggin' recap of the whole last game. <laughs> Isaac was too late to stop Saturos from lighting the beacon and escaping. Again, Isaac chased him, crossing Angara to the shores of the Karagol Sea. Which actually, you know, you can stop halfway in the Karagol Sea and go to Crossbone Isle, but you know, that didn't happen until later. Taking passage on a troubled ship, Isaac crossed the Karagol to Tolby. He spoke with Tolby's leader, a stranged man named Bobby. Bobby entered Isaac in Colosso as a test of his powers. Isaac's synergy won Colosso and earned him Bobby's trust. Bobby revealed a great secret in return to Isaac. Thanks to a mystic draught from the lost land of Lemuria, Bobby had lived for 150 years. He offered to help Isaac, who then headed deep into Gondwin. In the town of Lalavero, Isaac learned that Saturos and Minardi had kidnapped a young girl named Sheba whom they needed within the lighthouse. Isaac fought and defeated them atop the lighthouse, but he was too late. The beacon had already been lit. A great cataclysm followed. Sheba fell into the sea. Felix jumped in to save her, but both were lost in the roiling waves. Jenna left the lighthouse to find them, but to no avail. Isaac went to Lalavero, where Bobby asked him to find Lemuria in the remaining lighthouses. He gave Isaac a Lemurian ship to make the journey for the lost land. This chapter of our story begins with Jenna, just before the beacon on Venus Lighthouse is lit. Okay, well that's neat. I, I Like I said, I do remember a number of things, but I don't remember exactly how this started. I knew that the, the journey that we're taking here is not following the same group of heroes, Isaac, and etc. from the last game. But instead, Jenna, I believe Felix, uh, Sheba, I, I believe, and then one more. It starts with a P, if I remember correctly. Ah, we'll get there all in due time. Gosh darn it, there's no need to be hasty. Fan freaking tastic. Look at the seagull. That's our secret companion, the Lost Age. 
uh, panning over a tower. You know, this looks really good for a Game Boy Advance game, doesn't it? I'm just thinking about that scene specifically. Sure, it's, you know, 16-bit or 32-bit, rather. But it's still great. Move! Felix, Felix casts on the statue. Nodding to Creighton and Jenna as he pursues downstairs. And Jenna and Creighton nod to each other. In silence, they return back from whence they came. Are you sure we should be leaving like this? Once we go down those stairs, we can't get back into the lighthouse. Maybe I should have stopped my brother. Jenna, is something troubling you? I just... Uh, what is it? What's wrong? I have a bad feeling. Like something terrible is going to happen. Like someone might fall from the lighthouse or something. How unlike you, Jenna. Uh, I'm surprised to see me. Alex, were you listening? Mm hmm? Where's Felix? Why isn't he here with you? Uh, my brother, he left us. What can Felix possibly be thinking? He was worried about Seba. He went to check on her. Hmm, he was supposed to be leading you out of here. Well, I thought you would have been far from this lighthouse by now. Why are you still here? We tried to stop Felix from growing back up to the airy. Hmm, smile. How like him. Once Felix gets an idea into his head, he rarely changes his mind. Felix, what were you talking about just now? Hmm? What did you mean when you said, how unlike you? You don't know me. I was merely surprised to hear you expressing such concern, Jenna. Nevertheless, I'm impressed Felix went back. Don't change the subject, Alex. What did you mean? Mad! Are you saying that I'm insensitive? Oh, if that's what you heard, then I must have misspoken. Please, accept my apologies. I didn't sleep very well, and I haven't had my coffee. Well, Jenna, I think that Alex has said in his piece on the matter. No. I'm not sure he has, Creighton. He can speak more. Who do you think you are, talking to me like that? I retract my statement, my dear. Forget all about it, Jenna. Please, I implore you. So tell me about this feeling, Jenna. I'm just... I'm not sure we should be leaving Venus Lighthouse just yet. What are you saying? You can't really mean to remain here. Oh, Alex is right. It's far too dangerous, Jenna. We would only hinder the others. The others? Did Isaac follow us to the lighthouse? It would seem so. He must be trying to stop Saturos and Minority! If my brother goes back and finds Isaac, they're going to end up fighting! If the Venus Lighthouse has not let been lit, yes, they will fight. Felix is a terribly rash, young man. Is he not? Why are boys such fools? He may be rash, but Felix is no fool. His good qualities outweigh his bad. That's why I think Isaac would understand if we just talked to him. Why didn't I think of this before now? Please, can't we go back up and talk to Isaac? Yeah, I'm afraid that's not possible. Alex, why? He is an enemy. You don't talk to enemies, you only slap them. Isaac, an enemy? Our methods may differ, but you and I ultimately want the same thing. The to light the elemental lighthouses. Isaac and his friends would prevent this from happening. So that makes them enemies? But fear not, they won't be able to defeat Saturos and Minardi. Smile. So, Felix went back to the top of the lighthouse. Yes, yes, very good. Why do you seem so pleased, Alex? Why shouldn't I be? After all, the lighthouse will soon shine brightly once again. Alex, why do you want to see the beacon lit so badly? So it's my turn to answer questions, is it? Well, once alchemy was commonplace throughout this world. With its power, mankind worked wonders across the land. The lost age of man. I want to see that world restored once again and... And what, Alex? Tell me! Well, we've spoken long enough already. Uh, let's continue to do this another time. All right, I can't say three or four more words to explain myself. I must be vague. We should leave the lighthouse now before the beacon is fired. I concur. Let's forget all about this and meet at the location we agreed on and wait for Felix. 
Look, we, uh, right, Craven, but I mean, can't we like walk and talk? Can't you just like finish your thought, Alex, while we were, you know, moving through here? We could still leave, but you could talk to me. Explain some things, come on, like. Goodness me, I agree, Jenna. Venus Lighthouse, where we take over, do we have access to any sort of synergy? We got nothing. Jenna, level five, somehow she's overcame this entire journey uh, and has not been able to learn a gosh darn thing. Thankfully, I do kind of remember this place from Golden Sun 2001, so we should be able to just get out of here right here. And there's like a secret exit right here. We can't do anything about it. And should I, should I be investigating to go like get this treasure chest? Let's go back real quick. I'm not even certain that we'd be able to, but maybe we could get at least to that if we came down here. Huh? Did a little bit of hop, skip, and jump. Alex and freaking Creighton are like, what are you doing? We should be leaving. And Jenna's like, I know, but you know, there's treasure, so maybe we can go get some, be helpful. Come on, look at this. Jenna checked the chat. It was already open, but there's still an urban side. Someone came here and dropped off some parsley. Look at that. Uh, very kind. Anyways, I guess better to have some, you know, salad ingredients and not need them than to need them and not have them. You know what I'm saying? Come across an enemy and he slaps us twice, we're going to be really hungry for a Caesar salad. And if we didn't have any herbs, by golly, we'd be screwed old McDoodle. But thankfully now, we've got a start. Anyways, here is the exit. More cutscenes, assuredly, to ensue. Perhaps not. The only cutscene we got was the birds flocking in. Who says that? There they are. Get them. Oh, what's up? Oh, the freaking guards. Hey, of them sent us to stand guard here, but I never thought we'd actually run into them. Scoundrels, what have you done with the Shiva? Return her now, or you're really going to regret it. Hmm, aren't, aren't there supposed to be more of them? Eh, uh, maybe they're just the first ones to kill me out. Great, and that means we've got them outnumbered. we we'll probably take them, don't you think? Go teach the other Colby soldiers who's just taking them up to Yes, sir. I don't know what you said, but I'm gonna go this way. And we'll go tell the guys in the caves. They like to hang out there. Very dangerous. Got it, boss. Hmm. Interesting. How unfortunate. It looks like an ambush. What should we do, Jenna? You're the youngest and most inexperienced. Surely you're the one that should make this choice. What do you mean? Look around. We'll have to fight them. Are you serious? Jenna, are you really prepared to fight these men? Well, no, I thought you would do it. We don't have any other choice. We have to. Well, then, allow me to shoulder some of your burden. B burden? We regroup along the road leading away from Lalavero. Do you understand? Yeah? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Seems pretty cut and dry to me. You don't need to remind us, Alex. We know the place. And follow this road west and take the path down through the canyon to the cave. On the other side of that cave, you'll find a small peninsula called Irijima. We meet there. Thankfully, only those workmen block your route. And fortunately, they don't look too tough. Hey, we can hear you. Yes, yes, plain road. Why don't the two of you escape and leave the Tolby soldiers to me? Two of us alone? Uh, you can use synergy, can't you, Jenna? Um, yes. Then you'll be fine. We shall reconvene at the peninsula. Peace out. You think you can take on Tolby's finest on your own, little man? Hmm, I do not wish to inflict unnecessary bloodshed. Don't wish. What's that supposed to mean? If you lay a hand on these two, I assure you that you'll be made to regret it. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, let's, let's go stab them. By advancing, I assume you mean to fight. Uh, permit me to strike the first blow. Blast, blast. Water. Right up your backside. Doesn't it feel lovely? The most painful enema known to man. Good night, sweet prince. That's two of you, number three. Do you require some hydration? What was that? Uh, I don't know, but whatever he did, it's out of our league. Oh, God. Um, you guys deal with him. I went until backup arrives. <laughs> oh, so you're next. Duh. Hey, no need to worry about us. We're not soldiers. We're only, a we're not anybody. Seriously, there's no way we're going to face off against you. Uh, oh, guys, let's get out of here. 
I went for all God. <coughs> oh, wait for me! I'm coming too! Well, that went well, I'd say. How undignified and shameful. Jana, now is your chance. Go to Itajima and wait for me. I'm not finished with you yet. Oh, God. What? You mentioned backup from Lalavero? Hmm? Let's go meet them together, shall we? Hey, pal, when they get here, you'll really be in for it. Oh, do you honestly believe that even a hundred of you could stop me? <laughs> How amusing. This I must see. God. Oh, oh man, I might have soiled myself. They're gone. Come on, Jenna. Let's be going. There's nothing standing in our way now. But... What is it now? Uh. Nah, you're worried about hurting any innocents. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We're good guys. Well, just try to hold back when you're fighting. Just, just slap them around. Don't kill them. Let's get going. To the peninsula. Nod. Nod. Okay, and we're off. They said to go this direction. Uh, do we have access to anything at all? No map. What's our status? Normal. Flame user. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Assuredly, these things will come to uh, it'll be more available as we go on. Why do I gotta be the one to wait for backup? Oh, uh, oh God. The player Joe, let me go. Hey, what? what? The scary guy with the blue hair is not with you. <laughs> Great. Now you'll see what I'm made of. I'm gonna fight you. I'm a grown friggin' man with biceps the size of cantaloupes and a big old knife. My name is Ruffian. You could call me Ruff for short. You know, my mom, she didn't really think too highly of me when she was creating me. Oh god, I'm burning! You failed Ruffian. You got five experience points. Five coins, very good. Uh, don't hurt him too bad, huh, Jenna? Just burn him to a crisp. See you later, buddy. <laughs> so, Holligate. Uh, can, uh, we can't probably go down. I'm curious, too, if there's anything that we can actually do here. Probably not. I, I, would, I wouldn't guess that the game's going to give us too terrible, too many options early on, right? We're, we're working on getting started. Watch them! Oh, wait, 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 where'd the blue hair guy go? Who cares? I can handle some girl and her grandpa. Come on here, get on. <laughs> my name is also Ruffian. You see, my mom was friends with the last guy's mom, and they, they're really close. Ah! Again. Good night, sweet prince. More herbs! Look at that! We picked the friggin' salad right out of this guy's pocket as he convulses on the ground. We're good, guys. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we could go down. We could slide down. Not that way, Jenna. The meeting spot is down this way. We must climb down here and go into that cave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore. There's gotta be something over there, man. Come on. I'm gonna go get a Ginny or something. Not that way, Jenna. Get out of here. Well, thank goodness we got Grandpa here creating the... I'll keep us on the straight and narrow. Presumably it's this cave, right? If I try and go over here, he's gonna be like, no. Oh? He allows it. He allows it. Continually allows it. Why couldn't I have gone the other way and just slid down then, huh, you swine? Whatever. I guess there's nothing here anyways, so... We'll get in the cave. By golly. Gee williker. What? Oh, God! <laughs> now it's a good idea waiting for him. <laughs> you don't want going anywhere. Except with us, back to Master Yodem. Yes, nod nod, in agreement. The triplets, ruffians one, two, and three. Everyone's mother has the same idea. Let's use flare so that we can inflict some damage upon all three of them. Presumably, it'll only take two hits. We did 50 damage to the prior two instances of the ruffian. And this time, middleman is enough to be taken out, so it will take three. Jenna's taking a hurting. Good thing we've got a pocket full of friggin' salad. I didn't mean to cast flare to the dude on the left. That was a waste of synergy. Whatever, we'll just do a base attack and miss. Gosh darn it, the most nimble ruffian around. Now, the beasts have been quelled and we get 15 experience points as a result, as well as 15 coins and another herb. I forget. Can we herb out here? We, yeah, we can. Perfect. Uh, so how much does it how much does it replenish? Number of uses, single use. I have seven. Thanks for that. I know. There's nothing this is not helpful. <laughs> when in doubt, just eat it. Alright, recovered all HP. Hold on, does it say? No. It's probably like 30 or something. I don't remember, but we'll we'll come to realize these things as we progress deeper on maybe into the cave, but certainly into the game. 
The synergy stones all around. I'd love to rub one. Oh, yes. Uh, let's attack this guy, and then we'll touch that. Let's just use all sorts of synergy here, because that is going to replenish it for us. Good night, Punch Ant. Punch Ant. My, that was invigorating. There's quite nothing like seeing an angry ant die in front of us. <laughs> oh, anyways, I never knew a fighting could be so fun, <laughs> but we'd better get on for the fighting, huh? You're fighting? You crazy old man, you're just watching me. All right, can we get in one more fight? Is it like a random encounter? That one wasn't. He obviously sprung out from the overworld. I'd love to get an opportunity to use one more synergy before I grab this stone, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Fine, whatever. Checked on the ground! You got a synergy stone! Your points are maxed out. And, of course, the stone disappeared. Very good. Hey! Is that uh, Isaac's ship? This is the place, isn't it? Yep, this is the peninsula. The peninsula at the end of the road to the west. That's what he told us. Hmm, this must be Itajima. Idea. Huh, Minority said a ship would be here. We ought to see if we can find it. Maybe it's this big giant thing in the friggin' water. I don't know. Where else are you gonna look? Jetta! It is! Look! At first glance, it seems like a normal ship, but... There's something odd about it. Let me get inside. Great and wait! Oh, I swear, you're like a kid with a new toy. Uh... What am I gonna do with this guy? Goodness gracious. He could be dead for all I know. He's just in there, saying nothing. Hurry up, man! Come on! Oh, goodness me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> What's wrong? It's missing. What, what are you talking about? The, the, the thingy that, that makes it go. What? The, the rudder? What are you talking about? The sail? What, what's so important about this thing? The boat can't move without it. Without what? Gosh darn it, you're so vague! That Minardi, she tricked us. Tricked us? Yeah, by passing this dud boat off on us. It's a total lemon! There's no trick. If this boat is a dud, then how did it get here in the first place? Oh, right. I mean, it's not like someone could have dismantled it after getting here, right? That's impossible. It must have been the orb. What orb? Don't you remember that crystal Saturos was carrying? That big black pearl thing? I'm certain he said he could move the ship with it. Jenna, Graydon! Hello. There you are. So very good to see you. Oh, don't mind the blood all over my hands. I've been eating. Tomatoes. I see you found the boat. We set sail as soon as the beacon's been fired, correct? Strange. What is it? The, the beacon, it hasn't been lit yet. You're right. Why is it taking so long? Why hasn't my brother returned? Because Saturos and Minardi are getting their booties kicked by Isaac and company. They've done it, Jenna. They've lit the beacon. What's happening, Craden? Why won't the ground stop shaking? Strange. I think it, it might actually be getting worse. I think the lighthouse is collapsing! Look! The ground around it is crumbling! The Mercury lighthouse didn't react this way. What makes Venus different? Oh, God! That last tremor tore a rift in the Sahara Range! How are we going to get back to Godwin now? Oh, God! Edajima, it's drifting away from the mainland! But what will happen to us? You'll be lost at sea! You keel hauled! on a floating mass of land. It looks to be moving quite fast, too, judging by the by the water. Look at that. Oh, great, and how long will this island continue to drift? <laughs> I don't know. I wish you could tell me. Sheesh, you're no help in times like this. I'm hungry. How can you even think about food? Wait, hey, don't you have bunches of salad in your pockets? I wonder what happened to my brother. That's my salad, don't look at it. I can't be certain, but it looks like they lit the Venus beacon. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me that. That's how we wound up adrift at sea. You going crazy, man? Come on. Why, aren't you cranky today, Jenna? Mm hmm Well, I suppose you're just worried about Felix. And you know also possibly about us, since we have no real hope for rescue. Isaac and the others must have been at the lighthouse, too. I suspect you're right. Mm, I miss them. Isaac. Felix. Kind of Garrett, too, a little bit, but I never really liked him. Come with me. Huh? There's something I wish to show you. I found an Arby's. It's operational 24-7. Shame of Felix! My god. They, they're alive. They're really alive! Not even like kinda. What is this, Alex? What happened? Well, 
Bodies tend to float, in my experience, and they floated over here. And as such, we're greeted with the title screen. So there we go. That there is the intro. <laughs> I thought Felix and Sheba were still inside the lighthouse. It's miraculous. Miracle or no, I'm just happy to see my brothers alive. Oh god, they're pulsating. What happened back there? Hmm? Sheba? Oh. Thank the elements, she's awake. Sheba, are you all right? It's me, Jenna. Uh, Jenna? What happened? It seems you drifted here with Felix. With Felix? Take your time, take your time. Do you, do you feel all right, Sheba? Yes, I, I think so. My, where are we? Itajima, we're all to meet here. But now the island is floating away from Gondolin. What? This island is moving? I know it must be very hard to believe, Sheba. When the Venus Lighthouse was lit, a massive tremor tore us off the continent. The ground beneath the lighthouse roiled as though it might crumble away. I remember now, and that's what carried us away from Gondolin. But what happened to you, Sheba? You were in the sea in Saturos. Saturos and Minardi are gone. What do you mean? No, another group came. They fought Saturos and Minardi and... One. Was it Isaac? Isaac, yes, I think that's what they call him. You expect me to believe Isaac and his companions defeated Satoros and Minardi? Yes, yes. Have they really grown so powerful in so short a time? But how did you wind up in the sea? When the beacon was lit, the earthquake knocked me off the lighthouse tower. Then what's my brother doing here? He tried to save me from drowning. Felix jumped down from the top of the lighthouse. Dear me! Felix, are you awake? Yeah, Felix, you're awake. Brother, are you sure you should be standing? I don't know, I guess. I feel all right. You don't seem very surprised to find yourself on a floating island. What? Felix, once you saved Sheba, you must have swum out here, correct? You must have seen that the island was floating when you were swimming. But what do we do now? I have no idea. Nobody knows what lies beyond the eastern sea. Unfortunately, I am a student of alchemy, not geography. Right? I only took one class, and that's it. What is it, Alex? What's the matter? Can't you see it? Look! Look out there, people! Goodness! It's land! An island! It's uh, a little big for an island. That's no island. It's a new continent. But really, what is a continent if not a gigantic friggin' island? We're saved! So it would seem. Wait. What is it? We're going to pass north of the continent. She's right. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, Creighton, Felix, what are we going to do? Question marks? Oh, this can't be good. What is it? It's a tidal wave. A tidal wave? The earthquake must have caused it. Oh, my. It's coming right at us. Alex, how can you stay so calm at a time like this? At times like this, where would the good be in panicking? We'll be washed away. Help. Oh, God, I can't swim. I'm old. And that's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Mostly. Where, where, where's Sheba and Alex? Do you want to check yourself for injuries? I mean, what kind of... Yes, of course. Wave my arms around. Looks like the arms are still attached. That's a good start. The legs, too. All right, cool. All my parts are here. Now I check for actual injuries. As long as my limbs are here, I'm fine. Okay, everyone's taking a nap. I'm just gonna poke around here. Hey, Felix. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna investigate. You weren't planning on leaving me, were you? Huh? Well, it's land. The wave carried us back ashore. I assume you merely forgot about me and your, your excitement. Huh. Understandable, but you should have waited, Felix. Nevertheless, let us be on our way. Great, and join your party. I can't believe you two! <laughs> How could you? Leaving me on that island while you two go off exploring on your own! And here I was, looking everywhere for you- Everywhere? Yeah? All what, like 30 square feet? Chill out, lady. I'm sorry, my dear. Could you ever forgive us? <laughs> All right, just don't leave me alone like that again. Anyway, look, that must have carried us to a new continent! Let's go exploring! Jenna joined the party! Wait, wait <laughs> Everyone's pissed off because I took five steps to the left. 
Aren't you worried about me in the slightest? <laughs> Did you rescue me from the lighthouse just to leave me for dead on this island? Lady, it's been like 10 seconds, like chill out. All I did was step out here to survey the scene. Now I'm sure he meant to do no such thing. I wonder. Oh, don't give me that sad face. You know I can't stay mad at you. After all, you did save me, Felix. I won't soon forget that. Don't leave me behind again like that, okay? Hmm, that big wave pushed us around. No, way to go, nature. What's out here anyway? Nothing. That's what we're about to find out. Let's get started then. Yeah, Sheba joined your party. And now the adventure begins in earnest. By the way, where has Alex gone? Hmm, he doesn't seem to go be anywhere on the island. Really, you can see the whole island from here, huh? You're amazing, even with bifocals. You don't think he set out on his own, do you? He probably did. Well, then I guess there's no reason to look for him here. Hmm, he might have gone to look for a ship. Alex wants a ship? Did you forget what he was saying? I guess. He wants to return alchemy to its formal place in the world. By lighting the four elemental lighthouses, he might just succeed. But why the ship? Well, the remaining two lighthouses are unreachable by land. None remain to be lit across the Eastern Sea. So what should we... We must go to the Great Western Sea. The Western Sea? Is that where we're going, Felix? This old man's crazy, are you sure you... Yeah, I guess that's fine. Well said, Felix. I'm not crazy. And there we go. That's right, our parents' lives depend on it. What about you, Sheba? What do you mean? It's not going to be an easy trip. And there's no reason that you should have to face that danger, right, Felix? No, she has to come. Felix remembers. I have a reason to be traveling with you. What do you mean, Sheba? What reason? It's my destiny. I read it in a fortune cookie. The quest is your destiny? Yes. Oh, you couldn't tell us about this earlier. But how can we trust you when we don't know why you're even here with us? I'm sorry, but please, you have to take me. You must. You need me. I don't understand. Why exactly do we need you? You know that I'm an adept, don't you? I can control the wind, and Felix already knows that. You you knew that she was a wind adept? I, I actually did know that, yes. So Tauros must have mentioned it atop the lighthouse. I see. They saw when I was a wind adept right away. They kidnapped me for my powers. They needed them on their journey. Oh yeah, they would have needed an alignment that completed their own. They said that they would need a wind adept in order to light Jupiter's beacon. Yeah, of course. And I suspect we'll need your power there as well. So you see... You do need me. All right, I, I guess I understand now. But you want to know what she meant by destiny too, don't you? I guess so, yeah. I wish we could read minds like Sheba, then we'd know. Mm, that seems mighty uh, invasive there, don't you think? I'm sure she'll tell us in her own time, won't you, Sheba? I think for now that we should simply trust her. Now, I am quite famished. Shall we get moving? I heard there was an Arby's. Yes, we will do plenty of investigating. Hopefully find an Arby's. Probably not, but definitely find a fight or two next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed yourself. There's so many things you could have chose to do with your time. And you chose to watch episode one of Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age with me. And I'll see you back here for episode two tomorrow. <laughs>